Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the practical today which is looking at the effect of stirring or agitation on the rate of a chemical reaction. And once again, uh, as we did with temperature, we're using uh, the physical change of the dissolving of sugar into water um, as an example because they both work in, in pretty much the same way. Now we have again a beaker filled with 150 mils of water um, and we will put one sugar cube into this beaker and we'll leave that unstirred and we'll put um, another amount of sugar into this beaker uh, and have it stirred electronically by the machine that we have here. Once again the write-up is going to come up on the screen so please can you uh, complete the write-up in your screen you might need to pause it for a little while and then come back to the video after that. Put a teaspoon of sugar into each. Then I'm going to turn the stopwatch on so we are recording how fast it goes, and then I'm going to increase the rate of agitation in this particular beaker over here. Now, as you can see, it hasn't taken very long for the agitation to assist. We're only at the 20 second mark. Um, and it looks like from what I can see that it basically is uh, fully dissolved so it is the first one that has dissolved and you can see there that it's basically got nothing left but however with this one you can see that the majority of the sugar is still present at the bottom of the beaker once again you need to complete the results once you complete the results if, if you have any questions or, or concerns please consult your teacher thank you very much